Hello guys, this is my claw machine, fully built out of Kinex. It took me about a month to complete. Uh, runs off of eight AA batteries and has adjustable grip strength. So let's go ahead and demonstrate. I have the item shoot. I have the control. Controls are um, battery boxes with switches on top of them like knobs. Um, I don't know why you can see that. There's the main beam on top where a little cart rides back and forth on. My counterbalance, my claw. So we'll go ahead and go for something right now. Get the controls in the shop. So we'll take this, put it right there. All right, when you get to this point, the item will actually fall down the chute, just like in a real prize game. So you open the door, and you get your step down well. Now with the adjustable gripness, or grip, uh, right in here. I don't know how well you can see that, probably not too well. There's these elastic bands. I did have more tension on it, but this one broke. And I kind of left it that way, makes it more difficult. So now if we try to go for something a little bit heavier, like, uh, we'll try going for the sleepy sheep. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even come close. So, you know, there's different difficulties. You can make it super easy by putting a stronger band on there. I have these uh, these strings right here, which allow it to be pulled up, but they don't allow it to be pushed down, so it's, you're completely relying on the strength of the rubber band. And the weight of the claw. Um, the claw part is actually not my design. This lower half, from like here down, that was from a someone else's they made, but the whole entire top mechanism and the string, that was all my design. Everything else was mine. I used some, I used some uh, screws and nuts and bolts from Erector set to make my counterbalance. At the very top, uh, let me see how well I can do this. So if we, go on up. If we raise the camera, we we'll even get a shot of it working up there. It's pretty neat how it works.
So yeah, rather than a belt drive, I used the thing to get this camera off this tripod. <laughs> So right in this area, I use a chain with three, three gears here, sprockets, and I used the micro chain from the roller coaster sets, and then I have this one drive shaft. I actually had to hot glue that because it was uh, a little bit of delay from one side to the other because it was, you know, twisting one half and the other half was still getting in position. Uh, the tracks are just from uh, Serpent, that roller coaster set. All the motors are from there as well. I have four different roller coaster sets. I'll put into one here, along with some other smaller sets. And then you have this little cart running back and forth on what I had to improvise as straws on top of the connects pieces because it wouldn't make the the gap between the actual uh, joint piece and the other piece. So. Very tall, very awesome. Had to uh, splice the wires myself, and I put speaker wire to extend it. So I use like this fiber cable, and I have all my controls on this one board, which is nice. Very easy to operate. Not pretty easy to understand what does what. So, uh, thank you guys for watching.